Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Today is Friday, March the 31st. My name is Anne Marie Band, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. What we are looking at here, interestingly, is um, price action that's really pulling us right up into the edge of the prior month's levels. You can see that over here. Those numbers are 4,000. 98, 4100 really is that number. With a little stretch into 4110, we've had about a hundred point move in the last bit. Actually, um, it's been more than a hundred points, right? Certainly for this month, we've traversed 200 points of motion. And in the last week, we've had 100 points of motion. And so these are very uh, wide candlesticks, lots of wicks, and our core PCI numbers came in just shy of what expectations were. And so this has the market feeling a little bit happy. All right, that being said, what are we looking at? Bullish flow. Look at the size of the candlestick formations so far. We went very big, not as big, and now today is essentially half over because we only have six and a half hours left into this candlestick before it becomes closed. And so the, the question is, where's next? And why is this motion moving with the type of strength that it's moving? So my supposition comes down to the fact that there is a tremendous amount of negative positioning in the chart that is leading to positive price action because the bigger folks are sitting negative and they have to buy to cover. And so this is happening in dramatic fashion. What do we need to do today? First thing, we want to see if we can hold and retest 4081. If we can in the ES, we can hold that 4081. It tells us, hey, listen, Buyers are coming in, they're hanging on, and they're moving into that 40, 87, 40, 90 zone. That's the high of the prior day, specifically uh, 87.75. And so you want to think about it coming into that area and seeing what traders are doing. So right now, as I look at it, traders are buying this edge of 40.87 and they're moving to the north. So pullbacks or buy zones. Can the pullbacks be steep? Yes. What do we expect them to be if it's a nice, easy, trending Friday like we often have? Well, often, you know, maybe 50% of the time we trend on Fridays. So I shouldn't say often at all. So we do see trending on Fridays. And so as long as we sit above 4082, to the low of the overnight, which is 4078, we're going to anticipate that buyers are going to hold the line. If we look at the high, which is 4375 for last week, what we're going to notice is that that is going to likely put a floor in. The second we start losing that area, sellers are going to get all hot and bothered and start running into the market. So we want to be really careful watching those numbers. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues really coming off <clears throat> very strong and they continue to do that. Now the question is why a lot of folks are very keen on tech and really they're the ones that have been propping up the market. So if you have a long only desk folks and you work on, in a shop or um, at a fund that says, hey, long only, you're going to go where the action is and you're going to trade that long. And so that really is sitting in tech. This is usually a pretty volatile day. It's the last trading day of the month, last trading day of the quarter. Less is more on a day like today. Just be careful and let the trades come to you. Now, notice what we've already done here in the NQ. We've lost the high of the prior day, and we are still above the low, excuse me, the close of the prior day, but we clearly are coming in to test it. So you want to look at that low underneath 13,055, 
that's where you're going to see some market action literally uh, pick up uh, some steam, right? So we're looking at 13,000. 80 something 13,085 for the prior week of motion they're going to dance around going to argue there watch for the positioning realize that we've got bullish action flowing but we want to be careful simply because it is the last day of the month last day of the quarter so far so good so now let's take a quick look at spy see where the upward traje trajectories are going to show us here we are at 404 Five. We just tested, backed off of it from the intraday motion. We closed at 403, so we're going to gap up once again. We've got several gaps. This one got filled two weeks ago. But from a daily perspective, we have got some of the gappiest spy trading that we've seen in a while. But what are we noticing? These gaps are filling, right? Do, do they fill in one day, two days, three days, whatever the case is? And we still have gaps all the way down into the 396 area. Gaps like to fill. All right. And you can see the strength of volume moving to the upside being more shallow. Just be careful. I know I sound like a broken record, but I really do want you to just be careful and let the trade come to you. Where is that? Look at those edges and then say, all right, if I took it here and I'm wrong, where do I get out? When you trade with trend folks and people get stopped out, the first thing they want to do is get right back in. So pay attention to those sorts of things and frame out what you want to do next, okay? This is a thinking man's game, thinking person's game, forgive me. Um, and so we just got to think a little bit. All right, take care. I'll see you on Monday. Hopefully without this stinking froggy voice. Take care.